Hi guys, welcome to Lyrics YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, we will talk about Kubernetes labels and selector. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Kubernetes labels and selectors and its use cases. So let's talk about the label first. Label are key value pair which are attached to pods, replication controller and services and many more object. Here you can see the documentation. If I scroll down, is the official documentation of Kubernetes. They are used in identifying attributes for objects such as pod and replication controller. They can be added to an object at creation time or can be added or modified at the runtime. Label are attached to Kubernetes objects and always defined in the metadata section of the configuration file. So if we talk and and uh, this is very very important for Kubernetes point of view. And if you talk about the selectors, selector help us to filter the items or you can say object which have labels attached to them. Think about the scenario we have n number of different types of object in Kubernetes like pod, replica set, deployment, services, etc. By, by time when our infrastructure is increasing, we will have thousands of objects in our cluster and they are all uh, uh, situation we are in the situation that uh, you need a way to filter and view different objects by different categories such as group object by their types or by application or by their functionality whatever it, it it may be right so at that time label and selector are very helpful for us in order to work with the label and selector all you need to do so is to attach label as per your requirement in key value format for each object right so in this demo, we will see how we can work with the label and selector in Kubernetes cluster. So let's begin the lab session. Guys, I am in my Linux machine and uh, let me show you the OS release version of this machine. And then uh, I have already installed in Minikube single node cluster here. So we will check the Minikube status also, right? So let's start with Red release version. This is 9.3. And if I go with Minikube status, uh, okay, it's running. So before moving to next, we need to verify the cluster status also, right? And uh, we need to check the node availability. So we can check with kubectl get nodes command. So you can see my minikube node is ready in condition. Once you have uh, you have node available in your cluster, you are ready to create your pod. So we will check first the list of pod in default time space by running kubectl get pods command okay since this will be the, our first pod in our cluster so you will not see any pod in the default time space let's move to the first step which is launch our first pod in kubernetes cluster so we will create a file in our dedicated k test directory okay nothing is there so let me make a first pod dot yaml file right so for getting the multiple uh, for getting the code uh, we need to move the Kubernetes official documentation right so i'll go back here label and selector if you scroll down uh, here is the code yeah here you can see here is the manifest for pod that has two labels they have created the uh, code for here so you can copy this code from here and modify it according to your project so i have already copied this code and modify for you in very simple term let me show you so i'm back on my notepad file this is the code let me write down okay okay so if i go with cat here you can see so uh, so basically in this example i'm going to launch one pod having the label production with nginx server right nginx container and here environment is key you can see that in the metadata environment label under the label section environment is key and production is the value so let's create a pod that initially has one level environment production so it will create a one nginx uh, server or you can see the container with the container port 80 right so let me deploy command is kubectl apply hyphen f first pod.yml okay now let's check the status get pods it's creating okay it's running condition so we can see it's in up and running condition it's deployed successfully let's check the pod label how we can check the pod label so if you want to check the pod label we have the option hyphen f and show labels command here you can see right so the get sub command can be used to display a pod label here you can see labels are showing as an additional column in the output even 
uh, even we can add a label to the pod through the label subcommand also. Let's add one more label from the command line. So command is kubectl label label pods. What are your pod name? In my case, first pod. And then let me add honor jack. Honor is equal to jack. Okay. So uh, you can see label added successfully, right? Let me check one more time. Show label here. You can see. So you can you can honor is a key successfully attached with my existing pod. So you can go with label command and you can add one more pod. Suppose you want to overwrite or you want to remove this attached label, then then we need to run the following command like this way. Suppose I want to overwrite, right? So the command is kubectl label hyphen hyphen over overwrite the pod this is first pod and honor this time i want to change jack with bob perfect it's relabel now if i go with show label here you can see earlier the honor is jack now it is bob suppose you want to remove this label then then we have to run the command like this way kubectl label let me remove the over at this time label pod and the pod name is first pod and honor i said hyphen only just say hyphen here that's it see unlabel right so let me go back again with show label here you can see i'm in the back position right so this is how we can use the label command and you can attach a label and remove the label now let's take another example currently you can see i have only one pod that is first pod and only with one label right let me launch one more pod in the same namespace so I'll create a file second.yml and let me copy the code again from my notepad file. Let it be copy from here and paste it. Okay. So if I go back again with cat, cat hyphen and C. So in uh, you can see uh, here I have uh, I have used uh, another second.yml file and uh, here I'm using a uh, I'm going to create one more uh, pod name is second pod and based on Apache engine uh, image and having two label environment is equal to deployment and honor is equal to jack. So here you can see environment and honor, right? These are the two key and the value is deployment and jack. So let's deploy it the same way. kubectl apply hyphen f second .yml. press enter. Okay. Successfully created. Let's check the show label command. So here you can see, right? It's currently isn't going to be creating, but soon it will be up and running condition, right? Yeah, okay. Just wait for a couple of minutes. But you can see the different different labels are there, right? So you can see all label from the from different different ports. Now let me add one common label on both port using the following command hyphen fn all because both pod are in the same namespace, so we can do the command like uh, let it be up yeah it is in up and running condition so we can run the command kubectl uh, label label pod i can say which one not one not two hyphen hyphen all both ports right and let me make team is equal to linux that's it see first port label second port label so if i go back show label here you can see team linux in the one and team linux in the two Right, so you can see Team Linux added on the both port. Similarly, if you want to remove from both port, just go with the older one. The command is same and only hyphen. See, unlabeled. So now it's unlabeled successfully. Right, so uh, this is how we can use the labels in our Kubernetes cluster, which is very, very important. Now let's talk about the selector. So selector help us to filter the item or object which have label attached to them. So currently you can see production is attached with first port and development and honor attached with the second port, right? So uh, for example, I want to list only the port that have an honor equal jack. So we can use hyphen hyphen selector option. Let me show you. kubectl get port. Uh, let me clear the screen. Yeah, kubectl get port. I want to show selector. Selector T O R selector say honor is equal to Jack. See, I got the result. See, we got the filtered result only with Jack honor, which is in the second second part, right? 
the hyphen hyphen selector option can be briefed to in small hyphen l only see i can go with hyphen l only rather than i mention hyphen hyphen selector the output is the same right so cube ctl we get the same result so basically kubernetes api support two types of selector one is equality based selector this is the equality based selector example equality based selector allow filtering by labels keys and value uh, many many uh, popular kind of operator are here is is equal to or not equal right so this is the example of is equal to right honor is equal to jack it should be match only jack honor uh, let me take not equal case so if you want to just stay with the not equal just only put up exclamation here honor not equal to jack right so this time see i'll get the result of first part because first part we don't have any jack honor right if we don't have any key honor and the value of jack so that the reason if you go with equal jack we will get the result from second port if you go with not equal that means we got from the first port right so this is an example of equality based selector second second case is set based selector set based selector allow filtering keys according to the set of values so three kind of operator use basically in not in or exist so let me show you with the example see suppose i want to let me go with the show all first show all label right here it is so think about we uh, i want to list all the ports that are either label with environment development or either go with the production right this is the kind of condition so for that one what i can do i can use like this command kubectl get pod with selector or you can say hyphen l environment environment is a key key in the values development or production so if i press enter i will get the both result because production is there and development is there i'm right so here we can see that since we have each port has one of those two label that the reason they both appear in the output other words also supported label selection for example you could remove both of these port with the same selector so i can go with like this rather than get i want to delete 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 port hyphen l so beware that is will destroy all of their port with these these two label right so if i once i press enter see both are deleted so this is the condition of set base selector if i go will go back on with cube ctl get ports i hope both are gone see it's gone so this is how you can see it is very very uh, useful for kubernetes point of view right and uh, we can work with label and selector so guys that's all about this demo hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links uh, which is mentioned in the description and if you like the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye